Good morning everybody and welcome to a destination that probably every single tourist who visits Peru will come to. Welcome to Cusco. We're lucky enough to be spending an entire month here in Cusco so we'll hopefully have plenty of time to appreciate everything that this region has to offer. We're gonna have a whole series coming out from this region including our hike to Machu Picchu which we're very excited yes, about. Yes, can't wait for that. Uh, Rainbow Mountain of course and the Sacred Valley but to start with we just wanted to get a feel for the city that we're gonna be spending the next month in so in this video we're just going to be having a little tour around Cusco and showing you all the things you can get up to in this amazing city. Cusco is located high up in the Andes in southeastern Peru at a height of about 3,400 meters. It was the capital of the Inca Empire until the 16th century Spanish conquest and as a result it is surrounded by ancient ruins and awesome hiking opportunities. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most popular tourist destinations in Peru. So we're just chilling down here in Cusco's Plaza de Armas which is like the center of the city. Before we get any further in this video, I think it's important to tell you a little bit about the Boleto Turistico, which is such a big thing here. Yeah. Okay, so in order to get into the majority of the sites in and around the Cusco region, you're going to need what is known as a Boleto Turistico, which is this thing just here. And it has the list of all of the sites that you can visit on it, so that it's very easy to see which ones are included. Yes, so the one we bought is the most expensive one. It costs 130 dollars per person, and it's valid for 10 days, and you can visit apparently 16 sites in and around Cusco. So it's definitely worth it, because when you split the price, you'll come to like 2 to £3 pounds maximum per site. Site, so it will be definitely worth buying the ticket plus you probably won't be able to get into any of the sites without buying a version of this ticket mm -hmm. there are some different ones online that you can buy we'll leave a link to their official website so you can check what is available but one thing to be aware of is that you are only allowed to enter each site once with the ticket when you go into the the site they'll hole punch the site that you're going into mm -hmm. on the ticket and then you won't be able to re-enter that site again after you leave so just make sure that you thoroughly enjoy the site and take <laughs> your time when you're in there because you yeah. won't be able to return Let's jump. <sighs> One thing there are a lot of in Cusco is stairs. <sighs> And they are not, not our favorite things to do with them. Fun <laughs> at 3,300 meters. No, but at least you don't have our big bags on us right now. Yeah. Or shopping, like yes. <laughs> So we're starting the day here at the site of Cuenco, which is just to the north of Cusco. It basically looks like a bunch of massive boulders. <laughs> They've just been kind of placed around this location. Pretty cool. Yeah. And it's um, got an amazing view over Cusco, so definitely. it's worth coming up just for the view. Yeah. They believe this site was supposed to be like a shrine or some place of worship to the sun or the earth god for the Inca. Its name translated from Quechua means labyrinth because of all of the underground sort of channels and things that have been carved into the rock. So it's a pretty unique and cool location, a lot different to some of the other Incan sites that we've been to here in Peru. Definitely not good for your claustrophobia. No. <laughs> yeah, this looks like a gigantic throne. Yeah, this one's got even like little steps to it. Mm -hmm. Or like a bed or... Yeah. I mean, that's the only downside of these tourist tickets that obviously includes your entry, but it doesn't include a tour. So if you want a tour, then you have to buy that separate and then you can learn more about the places. Yeah, we just get our information from Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the big world of Google. After leaving Cuenco, we took a short walk across the hillside to the site of Saxe Woman. On the way we passed Cristo Blanco, a huge white statue of Jesus that stands overlooking Cusco where you can get some great views of the city. Yeah, 
Just across the road from Keenco is another ancient Incan site called Sexehuaman. This is an ancient Incan ceremonial fortress that you can see behind me. You may have noticed that it has a pretty interesting sounding name. Now you might have guessed this was not a fortress dedicated to sexy women, but it actually loosely translates from Quecha to Satisfied Falcon. And it was apparently the grandest and greatest architectural work done by the Incas in their heyday. It was seriously impressive, even more so than Machu Picchu, which is crazy. I was looking at the size of the boulders behind me that they used to build it, you can probably see why. I mean, these things are massive. Like, you feel very, very small underneath here. Seriously impressive. Looks so small. We left Sacsayhuaman behind and headed back down the hill into Cusco. On the way we passed by Siete Borogitos, or Seven Sheep, a beautiful street lined with hanging baskets of flowers and murals. Close by is the Aqueducto Sapantiana, an old colonial aqueduct that's worth checking out if you're in the area, but not something you really need to go out of your way for. Finally, we stopped at the Plaza San Cristobal to rest our legs and enjoy more fantastic views of the city. If you're looking for a delicious meal in Cusco, then look no further than Greenpoint Vegan Restaurant. They serve some incredible Peruvian food and drinks with a vegan twist. We lost count of the amount of times we ate here over the course of our stay. Uh, on top is the yaco banana, which is like a sweet banana from the jungle of Peru. And here we smoke it with Peruvian herbs. Oh, wow. It's very smooth. Okay? Cool. <laughs> this is a Peruvian chili yeah. sauce. Would you like me to put it all or just half? Just half. Just half? Yeah. From the north of Peru? Yes. Yeah. No. This is a Peruvian regular salad. It's just uh, white onions, pepper, and tomato. My recommendation is to put it in the plate, mix it, and yeah. have it all together. Oh, perfect. Thank Thank you. You. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thank you. It's like the fancy. fanciest meal yeah. ever. <laughs> Probably ever. It costs like six pounds. I know. Greenpoint is located in the San Blas district of the city, which is filled with gorgeous cobbled streets to wander around and get lost in. The plaza there is also filled with small little souvenir shops that you could spend quite a lot of money in if you're not careful. Getting some jumpers. Yes. And Eat. some socks, Sad. because it is freezing in our apartment <laughs> and we need some nice fluffy socks. It's really soft, like definitely pure alpaca wool. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's just so much stuff you could buy here. I think we're getting a bit carried away. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know where we're going to put all this no stuff. I've got a pair of socks. And this cool jumper. And Kitty got this jumper. When in Peru, you have to buy something like that. There's just so much cool stuff here. And this is just one of many shops. Not a bad price either. Like, it's about 15 soles, about three pounds for the socks. Jumpers are about, about 10 pounds. Another interesting spot to check out is the 12 angled stone just off the Plaza de Armas. This infamous stone is set in the wall of an old Incan palace and is rumored to hold up the entire structure. <laughs> Lastly, Cusco is filled to the brim with museums and galleries you can visit and quite a lot are included on your tourist ticket. We started with a visit to the Chocolate Museum where you can see some amazing chocolate sculptures, watch how the chocolate is made and buy some delicious treats. We stopped briefly at the Contemporary Art Museum but didn't stay too long. Finally, we visited the Regional Historical Museum of Cusco, which is set in a beautiful old house and has some really interesting artwork and exhibits about the history of the region. Mm. 
Cusco is a beautiful city, and we hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we did exploring it. We have so much content to share from our time in Cusco, from hiking in the Sacred Valley, to trekking to jaw-dropping glaciers, and of course the world-famous Machu Picchu. We hope you'll join us for our next adventures in this amazing country. Thanks for watching!